All right, guys, quick little video I wanted to do. So Joe Rogan, who's been a little bit critical of the vaccines, he's been questioning them, got COVID, and he released kind of a little Instagram video yesterday talking about, you know, the fact that he got COVID, how he had to cancel his show, talking about how he's feeling, things like that. And CNN, when they were playing it on their network, edited Joe Rogan's face, they went full 19-year-old girl mode on us with some sort of filter to make it seem like he was more sick than he was. Like, folks, I, leg I legitimately believe this is what happened. And I guess the train of thought here is if we edit Joe Rogan to make him look more sick, people will be more scared of COVID and more people will want to get the vaccine. I guess that's how they would rationalize it. This is crazy. Like, dude, I like to go as to far as to edit a dude to make him look more sick so people would get scared of COVID is just mind blowingly crazy to me. I mean, look at there's Rogan on the left in the video that CNN kind of filtered and edited to make him look more white, look more pale, look more sick. And there's him on the right, the actual Instagram photo. I mean, there's the edited version right there. I, it, does it not look like they edited the video to make him look more sick, to make people more scared of COVID? Um, oh, and again, they're going to rationalize it by saying we just want more people to get vaccinated and stuff like that. But that's ridiculous, man. That is simply ridiculous. I was also able to find this beautiful woman who tweeted out, don't you find it odd that women in America are being treated worse than women in Afghanistan? We wasted $2 trillion plus to go into Afghanistan to liberate their women and children. Something ain't right here, folks. You catching on yet? So, guys, you heard it here first. Women in America being treated worse than women in Afghanistan. And, ladies and gentlemen, how can I forget? We got to react to our daily TikTok video. We've got a beautiful teacher here, guys, who is just such an American patriot. I'm sure she loves America. Uh, talking about how she, I guess, forgot the American flag or you don't need to stand for the American flag. Let's get educated by this wonderful woman who I believe is an elementary school teacher. So that's great. This woman educating kids. Let's see what she has to say. During third period, we have announcements and they do the Pledge of Allegiance. I always tell my class, stand if you feel like it. Don't stand if you feel like it. Say the words if you want. Don't have to say the words. So my class decided to stand but not say the words totally fine except for the fact that my room does not have a flag it used to be there but i took it down during covid because it made me uncomfortable and um i packed it away and i don't know where and i haven't found it yet <laughs> but my kid today goes hey um it's kind of weird that we just stand and then you know we say it to nothing and i'm like oh well you know i gotta find it like i'm working on it i got you In the meantime, I tell this kid, we do have a flag in the class that you can pledge your allegiance to. And he like looks around and he goes, oh, that one? <laughs> that woman is teaching children. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. <laughs> uh, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Price Ginger. Thank you for watching.